need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot, shot up, Harry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17, when it their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Coombe Cassis for IFL TV. We are at the Rising Stars press conference here in Abu Dhabi ahead of tomorrow night's show. Headline in the show, I'm delighted to be joined by Bada Samarine. How are you, sir? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Good to see you again. Absolutely. I was saying, it seems like I'm seeing you a little bit more often now, like almost like every month or something. Yeah, we're getting good friends, yeah. <laughs> I like to see you more often. Absolutely, likewise. Um, yeah, uh, Rising Stars Arabia, uh, live on the zone, uh, ESPN. This is going to be great uh, exposure and coverage for you guys. Man, it's, it's, it's a career life changing fight, you know, especially not just fight, the whole event. Because uh, we Arab fighters, we never really had an opportunity sh to showcase our skills and what we what we can do for in the sport of boxing. And with the rising stars Arabia and Abu Dhabi, this sh uh, this this can help us a lot in this platform, you know. And uh, I'm looking forward to be on this journey, and I can be more grateful than that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not unheard of, but it's very difficult uh, again from the grassroots level of, of any boxing to kind of get this kind of exposure with the zone etc so uh, with backing with Abu Dhabi and obviously uh, uh, promoters and broadcasters like the zone and ESPN this is great news for not just yourself but for everyone on this card I mean 100% I mean we Arabs we 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 always had the blood in us and the boxing in us but what we didn't have before is we didn't had uh, good managers good promoters now we do have managers and promoters such as my my manager Ahmed Siddiqui and right now uh, promoting this event also and we never had someone to back us up with the tools that they had like let's say the financial part and Abu Dhabi is doing it right now so right now with this platform we have everything that we we wanted and now it's it's all about us to show the whole world what we can do and what not. Um, yeah, like I said, you are headlining uh, this event tomorrow night here in Abu Dhabi uh, against uh, Jose Gonzalez. Uh, what do you know about him? Well, I know enough. I know enough. And um, I mean, then again, uh, Kugan, I don't really I don't really care about my opponent that much because I know my abilities and I know what I'm capable of. I know his strength, obviously, I know his weaknesses, and I'm a clever fighter. I can capitalize on it and adjust on it real quick, and hopefully, inshallah, I will come out victorious. Your name has been put out there over the last year, more so, obviously, since you, you featured on the, the undercard of uh, the Joshua and Usyk fight, and since then, your name is kind of creeping outside of the Middle East as well. So, what's the plan for the next 12 months for you? What's an ideal 12 months for you? Obviously, you have to come through tomorrow night first. That's the first thing. But after that, what is the plan for you for the next 12 months? Exactly. Tomorrow is the night that we're going to have fun because the hard part was done today. And um, hopefully have another fight this year and then have a little bit of rest. And hopefully next year looking for a title shot. Yeah. yeah? I'm ready for it. You're ready for it? Yeah, you seem like you're ready for it when I was speaking to you like last year. So. I mean, yeah. let me tell you something. I'm ready for it, and I've been always been ready for it. But I just waited for the right opportunity and the right time because Allah has, is the best planner, and He planned it right for me. And you, pff, I'm just waiting for the right time, and here it is. Great opportunity on the card as well for uh, some of the other boys. Obviously, Sultan uh, sitting over there, dressed like a prince. What's happening, Sultan? We're going to grab he a word of him. Prince. He's not just dressed like a prince. He is a prince. Okay. <laughs> he looks the part and is the part. Oh, he's, he's telling you to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, let's keep that. Let's keep that uh, secret. Remind me of that film coming to America. You know, um, you seen that film coming to America? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Prince Hakim over there. Um, okay, Bada. Yeah, have you got anything else you'd like to add before uh, we finish, my friend? I mean, I just want to thank my whole team. You know, Round Ten Boxing Club, Ahmed Siddiqui and Abu Dhabi, uh, and I just want to thank everyone. And I would thank you also for having me on IFL TV. And good to see you again, my brother. No problem. You've got all the stars. You've got Gareth A. Davies is here. You've got Spencer Oliver's here. I mean, it's just, uh, yeah. There's uh, a few names in town for this uh, event. It's good. It's crazy, yeah, when you, when you realise that people are starting to come to watch you. <laughs>
Listen, long may it continue. Inshallah, man. Inshallah. Bada, thank you very much, and uh, we'll definitely grab a word with you after your fight. So, wish you the best of luck thank somewhere you. here in Abu Dhabi. Thank you. Thank you so much, Keith. Thank you. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shot up at it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 